Hello and welcome to another Art House Movie Review. This time I'm reviewing the film Rodeo, directed by Lola Quiveron. Now this is her first feature and it's really an impressive first film. It literally opens with a bang and we're just thrust into this chaotic world of our main character Julia. This is the world in which she lives in. She's got very little solid ground. Julia is a woman who has nothing really except this passion for motorbikes. And she becomes involved with a biking community and involved with bike life. And this seems to be the warm way in which she finds purpose and meaning. The cinematography is excellent. The camera is often handheld and very close to the characters. The camera is often out of focus. And it just really puts us in this chaotic world that Julia lives in. But then the vista opens up in the bike scenes as we see the bikes zooming along on this racetrack. Julia lives a very difficult life. She has no one reliable in her life. But she's scarred and imperfect too and she's not necessarily even reliable and trustworthy herself. We're never given the details of her backstory but we have a strong sense of it. And I think the storytelling here is really effective. Julia is very tough and brittle but she has these shreds of these small moments of friendship and of enjoyment but they're such small moments and then they're gone there's something quite sad about how much she enjoys this trip to a scrapyard with her friend and her friend's son this film used mostly non-professional actors and as is often the case it really seemed to work many of the actors were actually bikers and so this really gives the film an authenticity and almost documentary feel julia is played by the actress julia ledru and this is her first film and she's fantastic she just seems to play the part so well both quiveron and ledru grew up in the suburbs so they know this world in which the film is set and I think this allows the film to have a real authenticity. I heard an interview with Quiveron where she explained that she spent a lot of time in the community and I think this really shows because it feels like the actors are relaxed and they trust her. It's one thing I love about Laura Poitras documentaries because I always feel that she really gets to know her subject and she really spends time with them and allows them to get to know her so that they completely relax and trust her. And although this was a feature film rather than than a documentary I do think it had the feel of a documentary about it this film is visceral you really feel it you really smell the oil you really feel the vibration of the bikes and the roar of the engines is really musical the bikers do stunts which are really dangerous and impressive and it's just all completely compelling i just so enjoyed this world there's a lot here about masculinity and julia is a tough hardened macho woman who's attempting to integrate herself into this very male group but as well as having serious issues it's also a heist movie and a pretty exciting one at that and the film does have tension because julia has this scam where she cons people out of motorbikes and yet you, you're always kind of worried that she's going be caught. I just found this all so entertaining. In doing a little bit of research on this film I came across a clip on YouTube of a French news program where a policeman was discussing how dangerous this film was because it was glamorizing and promoting this really dangerous activity. I can see how some people might agree with this but I don't think this is what the film is doing. The film was observational. It wasn't really condoning or condemning the activity of these bikers. What this is is a subculture it's like a working class community quiver on credits the asphalt pirates in the end credits this is a film about rebels in a world where they have little power and the biking and the stunts is the one area of life where they find power and meaning so i had the feeling that this film was giving a voice to a community that wouldn't normally have the opportunity to have an authentic film made about them there was no judgment in this film and it was never voyeuristic and it reminded me of some of Andrea Arnold's work like Fish Tank, Wasp and Milk. I think overall the film doesn't condone or condemn the danger or the crimes in this film. There is an element of ambiguity to everyone in this film including Julia. We don't necessarily always like her. Now the final scene has come in for some criticism from some of the critics. They really don't like it and in some ways it's a similar scene to the final scene of Breaking 
Sinking the Waves, the Lars von Trier film. I don't feel as critical of it, but I'm not 100% sure that it worked. On the other hand, I love this film. I think she's done an amazing job and I'm perfectly happy to accept her ending. Visually, I do think it looks good, the ending. Overall, this film feels really original. It immerses me into a world of which I have no experience. And it felt like something I'd never quite experienced in the cinema before. So I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.